So a uh, happy new year to everyone. This is 2024. So this is the year that women can propose to men if you're interested. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about cognitive biases and how they affect divorce and mediation. So what is a cognitive bias? A cognitive bias is how we interpret information based on our own beliefs. And this can really cause problems when you have wishful thinking as opposed to the reality of the information. So here's some cognitive biases in divorce. Well, only men pay alimony, men don't pay alimony. Well, number two, the judge is never going to give her support because she had an affair. Number three, well, men don't get custody. Four, because my name is on the assets, well, I'm entitled to half. And here's number five, step parents are terrible and selfish. So if you have these cognitive biases in divorce, what happens is your case often doesn't settle because of wishful thinking. And so a question is, what do I do when I have a client with cognitive bias? One of the things I do is I tell them to ask your attorney what they would say if they were representing your spouse instead of you. This can be helpful. The second is get a second opinion. And the third is do your own homework. Because if this case isn't settling, something is going wrong. And part of it may be your interpretation of the information. It's Anju Jasani for Divorce with Dignity Mediation Services, wishing you a happy new year and looking forward to talking to you about divorce and mediation. Thank you.